government now says it may soon review the age of children being admitted into boarding schools. Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang says some of the pupils entering boarding school are too young to meaningfully respond to emergencies. The PS spoke at an emotional memorial service for the nine girls that perished in the inferno at the Moy Girls Secondary School, Nairobi. <laughs> memorial service dominated by profound sadness. Grief engraved on the faces of the parents that lost their daughters in the inferno two weeks ago. The flames from the candles lit beside every photo of the fallen angels burned bright in memory of the girls and what they shared in the Moy girls community. We didn't hide our nakedness from our children. We didn't hide our tears when we discovered we had lost some. And we are not ashamed to cry, even before them, even now. But one thing that we know, and we are comforted with, is that God has not abandoned us. Truly, can we throw away all the good moments that we might have shared with them? Honestly, the memories are, and will always be, engraved in our hearts. The fire tragedy shook the nation and raised eyebrows on just how safe our schools are, but leaders are offering their hand of support to the parents. But after everything has been said and done, let our eyes look up to the Lord because he's the only one that is able to comfort us. Go more than you think you need because by talking about what has happened, by discussing it, by understanding it, by accepting it, by forgiving where you were wronged, um, you will find healing and be able to get on. The challenge and the areas I see that we'll need to focus on, and I commit myself to as a friend of the school, is to make sure we pay attention to issues such as the well-being of our girls, their mental health, the safety standards and precautions in the school, even things like fire drills. The government says it will have to take another look at who is allowed to go into boarding schools. Some of these policies may include relooking at the whole question of at what age do we allow our children to be in boarding schools. This may affect our primary schools because we would want to be sure that when our children are in boarding schools at primary school level, that they are of such a age that in case of challenges, they can be able to take care of themselves. With the Form 4 students having already reported to school in preparation of their final examinations, the Form 2 and Form 3 students are expected to report back to school on Friday. And as the family and friends prepare for the final send-off of these nine girls, the hope and prayer of every parent is that the policies that had been put in place by the Ministry of Education to ensure safety of students in school will be fully implemented. Raquel Mwigai, KT News, Nairobi.